All right, so before I show you how to translate your YouTube video into another language so you can expand your reach here on YouTube, I'm gonna show you the end result. So that way you know exactly what to expect. And then also when I show you the step-by-step -step process, you're gonna know exactly what to do, all right? Now the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm, I took a YouTube video off of this channel and I translated it into another language. Now I'm gonna show you that clip here in a second, right? It's probably gonna be, I'm just gonna show you maybe like 10 seconds of it. And then after I go through the step-by-step -step process, then it's, I'm gonna show you another version, but it'll be in another language, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and roll the clip. Está bien, así que en este video voy a mostrarte exactamente cómo acceder a tu formulario 1099 para YouTube. Entonces, si has ganado algún ingreso al permitir que YouTube muestre anuncios en tus videos, esto será beneficioso para ti. Bien, lo primero que quieres hacer es seguir adelante y continuar en tu acción. All right, so now that you got a taste of what it sounds like, now I'm going to show you how simple it is for you to actually do this, all right? So let's go through the process. All right, so I'm inside of the YouTube studio. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and grab the link for your video. Now, there's other options and I'll show you those other options as we go through, but we're just gonna use the video link for now, all right? All right, so I'm gonna go to this video right here. I'm gonna click on these three dots. I'm gonna hit get shareable link, all right? So now that I got the link for my video, now we're gonna be using a software called Eleven Labs, all right? So Eleven Labs allows you to generate a clone version of your voice, which is essentially AI. And then also, if you wanted to, you could use like, you know, they have like a library of other voices that you can use as well. Now, as you can see right here, it says test Rakim. So if you've ever watched any of my YouTube short videos where you see like a, a AI version of me, this is the voice that I use every single time. All right. Now, what we're going to focus on is right here to where it says dubbing though, right? So I'm going to click on dubbing because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to change the language of our video. All right. So you can see I've done three over here because I don't like to, you know, teach people how to do things unless I've done them myself. Self, all right. All right. So this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click create new dub. All right. So now we're going to just name the dub, right? So I'm just going to put test. I'll just put Dutch and then we'll try to use that. All right. So you can see right here, it says source language is detect. That's what we want, right? So basically what it's going to do is it's going to take what's on the video right now, and then it's gonna read that, and then once it detects what language it's in, then we're gonna do what we call our target language, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click select, and then let's see if I can actually find Dutch. All right, so there it is right there, so there's Dutch. All right, so now it knows what we're trying to do. So right here it says select the source. So this is what I was talking about when I said that there were other options. So you could upload the video, you could take the YouTube link, and this is actually the, the option that we're gonna use. You can take a TikTok video, Twitter, Vimeo, other URL, and etc. All right. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to YouTube. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that link right in there, just like that. And you can see we got the green check, so we good to go, right? Now, right here it says add watermark to reduce character uses by 33%. That's basically just you know telling you you know the amount of credits that you have and the amount of credits that it's actually gonna take. All right. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uncheck that because I'm not too worried about that. And then I'll just go ahead and click this just so you can see. So you can see right here it says number of speakers. It's going to detect that automatically. So you can see how powerful this is. All right. And then it also has the video resolution. I just leave that on highest, right? Because we always want the highest quality, right? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click the drop down again. And then from here, all I'm going to do, and before I click create, you can see it says this dub will cost approximately 13,450 characters. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And then as it's going throughout the process, once it actually finishes, then I'll come back in the video. All right, so it's finally done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you another finished version and I might just go with the same amount of time, maybe like 10 to maybe 15 seconds so you can see you know, another view in like another language, all right? All right, so I'm gonna go here to where it says view, click on that. And then you can see here's the video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit play so you can see that it's in another language. Oké, okay, dus als het gaat om muziek toe te voegen aan je YouTube video's, wil je er zeker van zijn dat die muziek auteursrechtelijk beschermd of royaltyvrij is gratis. Nu zijn ze in principe hetzelfde. Het is eigenlijk waar je niet wilt loop tegen eventuele licenties. All right, so that's about 12 seconds, right? So you can see that now this video is actually in Dutch. So you can see how simple it is to do this. So if you're somebody who's trying to really expand your reach here on YouTube, this is definitely one of the ways to do it because you're gonna be get hitting you know, new eyeballs that you typically wouldn't hit because you changed the language, right? So this will continue to help you grow and grow further, all right? So hopefully you got some value from this video and if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you have 
have any questions, go ahead and drop them down below. I'll be sure to answer them. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.